After the rebuilding, the drying out from Hurricane Irma, we all need a good weekend, right? <laughs> but Irma left a little something else behind. A lot of area beaches are right now closed. Experts say bacteria levels, they're too high. It's really dangerous, dangerous at the moment for swimmers uh, due to Hurricane Irma. So we want to know how long will the swimming advisory signs be up? The Now's Alex Hagan has our story today from Port Salerno. Sansprit Park brand new. is where Bob Chu for business one or two days a week test drives his brand new boats. Today I'm going to have to be pretty cautious. Uh, we, I test all the pumps, all the systems. But as he prepares to launch sneakers and socks off, he sees an advisory sign and high tide. Not my favorite thing to do. Taking a risk is just something he does. His business is a top priority. It's just something we deal with. Sansprit is one of 13 areas on the Treasure Coast with these signs up. Irma causing polluted runoff. Now a possible fecal bacteria in our treasured waters. The concern right now is how long will these signs stay up and will we see more of them in the weeks to come? It's going to continue for a long duration. Mark Perry with Florida's Oceanographic Society is confident the advisories will continue. Kind of expect it during these big, huge events. However, it's really uh, exasperated, especially when we get these high discharge from all the other parts of the watershed, including Lake Okeechobee. Although it's too soon to tell if those Lake O discharges are the main cause, it's certainly not helping. Cautious. Right now, the best advice is try to steer clear of the water. Wait for state health officials to give the okay. Who knows what's to follow, I, I would think. In Port Salerno. We'll definitely get more of it. I'm Alex Hagan for the Now, South Florida.